Hello and welcome to 2024. We still haven't had an update yet, so I wanted to do something a bit more chill to start the year off before, you know, things inevitably get broken and believe me, there are numerous bugs still in the game that uh, need to be addressed, uh, preferably as soon as possible. Uh, I can show you one right now, actually. It won't take very long at all. You see, if you buy a mask slot, uh, the game turns, the screen turns black like that. So you can see the screen turns black. Uh, I think the same is true if you buy a suit slot as well. The screen should also turn black. Um, but if you buy a weapon slot, the screen doesn't turn black. Uh, and this means you can buy multiple weapon slots uh, within uh, this time period. So watch this. If I buy that and then I buy another one, it worked, but sometimes it doesn't work and it will take your C-Stacks, but it won't actually give you the right number of weapon slots. Uh, this is a very easy way to accidentally burn uh, C-Stacks without realising it. Uh, the simple fix would obviously be to put a black screen on when the game's processing it, but also that seems kind of... Eh. Anyway, point is, the game still has a bunch of bugs uh, that need fixing, and until they're all fixed, the game's going to feel very unpolished, and I'm not going to be able to realistically recommend this to anyone, um, which is kind of how I've been going about this game until now. Um, whenever anyone's been asking me, hey, how do you feel about Pay to Free? Should I buy Pay to Free? Should I play Pay to Free? My response is, leave it three months, ask me again in three months, I'll come back to you on that. <laughs> Um, obviously the game's in a much better place now. I'm getting off topic. This is a video about paint. Um, but I'm just gonna quickly finish up what I was saying, uh, first. Uh, this, like, as soon as all of these small weird quirks and, like, strange bugs and stuff get fixed and the game feels more polished, I will absolutely be able to recommend this to anyone in a heartbeat. The problem is, it still has a bunch of these weird, like, unpolished issues. You still can't move stuff in your inventory, for fuck's sake. Like, anyway. Let's talk about paint. More specifically, let's talk about paint stripper. Because paint stripper is possibly the most important paint in the game, uh, if you're trying to do cosmetic stuff. And I feel like it's something that isn't very intuitive because the game's paint system doesn't seem very good or robust at all. Um, so let me quickly give you a rundown of what paint stripper is and does. First I'll just quickly buy a new weapon to show this off with. Um, what weapon? Uh, with a coin, roll a dice, and uh, let's go with the... Let's go with the AK, why not? Uh, this might actually be, end up being a bad choice, but we'll see. So, here we have an AK, right? Let's say you want to paint this thing. Let's say you want to... Uh, let's say you want to paint this, but none of these paint schemes really do what you want, right? Let's say you want to paint, I don't know, the entire gun except for the magazine for some reason. Well, if you want to do that, uh, there are no paint schemes that allow you to do that, right? As you can see, there are just... Why is the game doing this? Like, that's another fucking bug as well. Like, sometimes the game just doesn't show you the colours until you click off the tab and then back onto it. Weird, annoying shit that the game needs to fix. Anyway, so as you can see, I can paint the magazine, but none of these other paint schemes are everything but the magazine. You could potentially do it with paint scheme 12, I guess? Yeah, I mean, that does it, but now you're spending 20 C sacks to do something that should be pretty basic. Um, same as paint scheme 13, you can maybe do it. Yeah, you can do it like that, except now you're not painting the whole gun. Um, paint scheme 11, you should also... Oh, this one's painting the magazine somewhere else. Where is it painting the magazine? Okay, you can't do it with paint scheme 11. Uh, but what if I told you there was a way to do this with just paint scheme 5? But wait, paint scheme 5, pa 5, 5 only paints the magazine? This is where paint stripper comes in. Because with paint stripper, if you apply a base paint first, like that, and then you apply paint stripper as a pattern, look at that, you've inverted the pattern. So paint stripper is incredibly, incredibly powerful and versatile as a paint because it lets you invert the pattern. Uh, it's worth noting that it only works if you have a um, a base colour, basically. Um, you can technically kind of use it with some of these other things, 
like if I were to do this and then uh like that's painting that because the thing is some of these colors do overlap so as you can see color one paints the stock but also color four paints the stock so if I do color one and then color four is paint stripper it kind of inverted it but also what's the point <laughs> um you get what I mean right uh like, I guess if you just want those parts painted out of this, then you could do it like that. You get the idea, right, though. Pinch, you can do a lot of, like, really cool stuff with paint stripper if you want to invert the parts of the weapon that are painted and make them look default instead of being some hideous colour. Um, because, let's be honest, these paints are not very good. Actually, wait, hold on. Wait a sec. Wait, did I just find it actually kind of cool? Oh, look at that! You can actually, like, give the gut... Never mind, I was just talking about how this isn't a very good combination, but look at that, I just painted the fucking, like, all the metal parts like a, a different metal colour and left the non-metal parts default. You know what I'm saying? Like, paint strip was really cool, I did that by accident, I wasn't even trying to do that. That wasn't even the intention. <laughs> but yeah, you can see, like, you can do really cool stuff with paint stripper if, like, you're trying to intentionally do it. Um, and then you can also apply a base colour, because you can see that the uh, muzzle isn't currently being painted, so I can also apply a paint to that as well. And now all of the metal parts are going to be painted. A different paint, a different metal colour. So like, if I wanted to, I could paint all of these, like, I don't know, fire brick varnish, why not? Uh, and was it colour one? Yeah. There you You get what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, right? You could do really, really cool stuff with Pain Stripper. However, there are a couple of other things I want to talk about uh, as well in regards to paint schemes, because there are a couple other things as well. Uh, if a weapon has iron sights, like the Signature 40, or really a lot of weapons have iron sights. I don't know why I just said if a weapon has a Ignore me. Um, I'm losing my fucking mind after last night. Um, I... I think I've kind of like gone slightly insane, but uh, so the thing is with paint scheme 12, 11 and 13, so the three that cost C stacks, uh, colour 3 and colour 4 are always the exact same. So colour 4 always paints the details of the weapon, so as you can see it's painting like the um, the trigger, the hammer, uh, the slide, some of the parts of the gun, like some of the just like small parts of the gun as well. Um, and Colour Free always paints the sight. And on certain weapons, like the Signature 40 without a sight attached, you can use this to actually paint like the uh, sight dots. So you can make them any colour you want, which is actually really cool. Um, and you can do this on a few of weapons as well. Um, I think you can do it on the Ziv. For like the one person that uses the Ziv, uh, you can paint the Ziv sight, I guess. Uh, <laughs> As you can see there, you can paint the like the dots on the ziv, so I can make them red. However, if you have a sight, it will paint the sight as well. And on some weapons, it will also paint the magazine. I think the AK it paints the magazine. Um, although it also depends on the paint scheme. Some paint schemes won't paint the magazine. Some of them will paint the magazine. But as you can see there, this one paints the magazine. Uh, this is paint scheme 13. If I change that to paint scheme 12, uh, 12 won't paint the magazine because 12 doesn't have magazine paint. But yeah, you can see there. So you get the idea, right? There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with pen if you're kind of like trying to do cool stuff with pen. Uh, when it comes to masks, I haven't really experimented too much with them, but I'm sure you can do cool stuff with mask pens as well. Um, like if I were to apply no to this. Uh, actually, something that I can show you real quick that is to do with mask pens. Uh, so you might think here that I'm using gold as the base pen, but I'm actually using fabric varnish. And the reason for that is because I'm using colour one on the pattern as golden varnish instead. And that might seem kind of confusing and weird, but watch this. If I change the base colour, you can see that it changes like the outline of the the pan, which is really weird and I don't know why it does this. But you can use this to kind of get like more control over the actual pattern by using the base as an outline for some reason. I don't know why this works, but it does. So that's something you can do. There's a lot of really weird, confusing depth to how customization in this game works, and the customization system is dog shit. So it makes it's a good it's a good match in heaven. 
Uh, also, OG American Dream is a really fucking weird mask. I don't know what I was doing with this. I think I was trying to make it look like a cum mask for some reason. Um, but as you can see here, there's like some weird shit going on with this where like it's kind of transparent for some reason. Like you can still see part of the original mask through the... I don't want to call it the cum, but it's that's what the mask is. It's the cum mask. Um, but if you apply a base colour to it, suddenly you can't see through the colour anymore. It's really weird, this mask. I, I can't, like, you can see that. Like, if I get rid of the base colour, you can slightly see through it. It's so bizarre. I There are so many weird things going on with customization in this game. I could probably be here for ages, but I just wanted to make a short, quick video about it. That is where I'm going to end it, because like I said, I just wanted to make like a quick, short thing telling you basically use Paint Stripper. Paint Stripper's really good, um, if you care about the customization anyway. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. You can use it, uh, you can use um, colour free on weapons to get some really cool like sight stuff going on. I think I did it with the Moscone 12 as well. It looks kind of bad here because it's painting that part as well, but if I change the uh, iron sight to the default, as you can see it gets rid of that and it's just the dots. But because I want the tagged iron sight, it kind of looks a bit weird. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea. I I'm always bad at ending videos. I'm just, I'm gonna click the end button. That's it. <laughs>